YouTube. Good morning. We've been playing way too much Backpack Battles. Today, we're going to check out a different game. We are checking out Card Draw. This game is free in the browser on itch.io. So we're going to click this. I will put it back to F11. We have 250 draws and our goal is to get the number to be as big as possible. So if I hit spacebar, bam, we just drew a two. Our number is now two, bam. Number five, we drew another card. Another card, 15. Once I get to 100, I think there are things I could do. Ooh, at 262 and 236, we can buy these two cards. We can also edit the deck. I think there's a dice game that's somewhat similar to this, but I never played the dice game, and I like the idea of cards. I like the idea of both, though. I wouldn't be opposed to trying the dice game. So yeah, I really like the minimalist aesthetic to this game. I like how simple it is, and I like the chill music a lot. Okay, so that was actually a surprisingly good hand. 36 is even better. But the next one is going to be terrible because we have multiplier, multiplier without a number first. Zero, three multipliers. Let's go. So we don't have much control, but that's okay. We do have control. We can manipulate the deck. So the options are make the deck way better by adding something big or make the, better, the deck better by removing either a small multiplier or a small additive number. All three of those feel like viable options to me. I think I'm gonna go for this plus 42 first. So we need 236 chips and we can just spam press the button too. 241. So we're trying to get to 236. And I can get a feel for about how many I get every hand. So that should get us there. We're there. Bam. So next, would I want this times, I think I would want the times five next and this, and then we can restock. But before I restock, I would like, what would I like to unlock this to get plus one hand size for 700 is massive, but you need to have 10 cards in the deck. We have 11 cards in the deck. Okay. There are a lot of things we could do. Mainly, we want to draw that new card and hopefully hit a multiplier. No, multiplier first. New card, where are you? It exists. I know it exists. There are only 11 cards in the deck. We added the new card. There it is, 42. So we're really hoping for a multiplier, and this would be the multiplier. So that could be good timing. Plus five, give us the times five multiplier. No. Worst case. All right, I'm gonna go modify the deck. We will remove the plus one. Yeah, plus one's pretty worthless. Times five, we got a 45. Painful, we got a 60. So there's a lot of RNG, but you get to control the RNG. It's very interesting to me. And I like that you get to see like how far you can make it in a set number of cards. We'll go back to the main screen afterwards, but the dev looks like they have a lot of plans for other things. Ooh, that's a good one. Or 50. Another card would be so good. So 217, we could add another card. I would like to, oh no, we can't add it. The plus 83 is good. Darn it. Okay. I don't know if I can go look at the main menu without exiting out of this. Exit the game. No, we don't want to exit out. Okay. So we will finish this and then we'll go look at the main menu where they have a bunch of different game modes planned and all kinds of stuff. It looks really promising to me. I really want this one. I also want to remove a card, but I think getting plus one more card is the priority. Give a multiplier. No, give a multiplier. One multiplier. Okay, we, no, we still haven't hit 700. 
All right, we're there. 700. Now we get to draw four cards. I would like to remove... Oh, I can't... Yeah, I can. I can remove two cards right now. I would like to remove two cards, which is going to cost me 200 plus 300. 500. Unlock this and... Well, you can roll this first. Okay. This could be massive. Okay, multiplier's helpful. 200, I could remove right now. Let's go remove. We can remove the plus two or the times two. I'm gonna remove the plus two. We have some big pluses. We don't have that many big multiples yet. So I'm trying to get to 500 twice, and then 300. That almost got me to 500. Okay, so we have 208. Well, it's gonna drop off some of it. 184 right here, plus 83. We're hoping for a big multiplier to come out. Huh. All right, do this. Oh, if I had unlocked this first, I would get to see... No, because we still get to see this when I unlock it. So this one, what does this do? Transforms the input value. So this just sets it to 666 regardless. This just sets it to 909 regardless. Plus 777 sounds better than... Way better than this. These are expensive. I think I'm going to have to re-roll them. It's going to take me a while to get to 14,000. We'll see. 300. 300, 500, 1,000. That was a really good one. So, 500. Unlock another. No, these ones are lame. Not a fan. Ideally, I would get to this 70,000. I would like to remove... I still think it's just the plus three. The multiples are good if I hit one of the big plus numbers. All right. 170, we could still hit multiple, no, lame. So if I get to a thousand, I can re-roll, but the re-rolls get more expensive. If I get to 1500, I can look at another card. Let's do that. Or do I think that I can get to 14,000? Because if I get to 14,000, this one can break the game. Start to break the game, at least. Let's try it. Ah, but that might be a lot of my rolls. It just depends what we get. I'm committed now. That's the next one that I want. No. Okay. All it takes is like one big hand. We'll see. 83, this one could do it. This feels like gambling, but there's no money attached or anything, so it's just having fun. I like trying to get numbers to go up, and this one is fun to me. Maybe I committed to too big of a thing, though. Times five, but it came without a big value on the left. Okay, 42 is here. 83 is here. All we need is a multiplier. 375 times three. One more multiplier. Okay, that should be pretty close. Very close. Cool. So now very valuable to remove some of probably just some of the plus things because I want to draw this with multipliers ideally higher multipliers but these flat numbers are just bad we can also get five abilities I have not done an ability yet I just tried the one run and I enjoyed it and that was enough for me so I want this and this 2500 I don't think I want these We really want to draw that 777. All the rest of these don't really matter. There it is. So now, I should be removing 
the plus cards. Oh, I don't have any removes left. We're down to 10 cards. If I add a card, huh, we could get to this 70,000 too, which would be massive. Oh no, I need 12 cards. Okay. Ooh, increases the input value by 111 multiplied by the number of digits of the input value. This one confuses me. That is fun. I wonder if it's good. It costs 10,000. The input value. So the input value of this one is 1554. So what would that do? 111 times 4. Um, I mean, it's still just a plus 111. It's not as good as this. Because it would be really hard to get... Uh, maybe I don't actually want that one then. If I don't want that... I think I'm just going to reroll. Look for a big number. Plus 3 to the power of the last digit. So the last digit can be anything from 1 to 9. 3 to the 9. This is only a plus. 3 to the 9 would be massive. 3 to the 1 would be a 3. Huh. Plus 12, lame. Plus 3 to the 9 minus the max digit. Max digit. That's a little bit painful. That's worse than last digit, kind of. Again, this is a plus. Plus 80. I think plus 80. Hmm. Yeah, because I can remove. I think plus 80 is worth it. Plus 25 might also be worth it. Probably is. Because you can just replace the worst cards. But I don't really want too many pluses. Ah, maybe I... Yeah, I think you do take the 25. I'm going to remove that. We will take the 25. We'll go back. I'm like halfway through my rolls. I was trying to get a multiple before that 777 moved on. This is also just expensive, and so is this. And I don't think it's that good. It's okay. That one seems good. Should have looked at this first. A shark. Shop items that are flagged will not be refreshed at each shop refresh. What? Star ability type. Seems kind of lame, very expensive. I would like to remove another flat one. And ideally, we don't want to be adding. Like, this 25 was questionable, but it let me replace one of the crappy ones. Okay. So I want to add two more cards, but probably not that one, even though it is very cheap. Darn, fell off. How much do we need to refresh? 1,500. Zero. Everybody multiplies. There it is. Okay. 1,500 to refresh. Let's do it. Just looking at the prices before I look at anything else. Kiwi. With a probability of 50% for each card slot, if no horseshoe card is on the table, force every coin symbol of cards on the table. What? What are these symbols on the table to be equal to I symbol? Like the Eye of Sauron. Um, info. Luck is a card tag. Each card has a certain tag list visible at the bottom of the card. Does it? Oh. Okay may also contain the luck card, equipped ability. That one's too expensive to even really consider it. But yeah, that's a lot of info. So these just say digit length, length and digit. Plus length to the third digit. What if they don't have three digits? Plus length to the length, oh. That's a plus, not a multiple, but still. Ooh, that's so expensive. Plus a large number times the length, plus last digit to the fourth. One to the fourth would be pretty bad. Two to the fourth is two, four, eight, 16, okay. Three to the fourth, 
three, nine, twenty-seven, one hundred and something. Okay, so this one gets large pretty quick. But again, it's plus. And they're just really expensive. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that. Deck. How many cards do we have? We have 10 cards. Okay. I think I'm going to have to re-roll again. We'll see. See what this gives. Oh, it's one of the pluses. I could make this my only plus if I found multipliers. I think I want to look for multipliers. Why? I don't know. 5,800. I kind of want to see this, too. 2,500. Let's see what this goes up by. 3,000. That one's really cheap, but it's a plus. A scale. Ability value, the points output of every card slot containing a minimum or maximum digit symbol is multiplied by zero if the corresponding symbol value resulted in a zero or a nine, multiplied by three otherwise. What? That's a lot. Max digit minus min digit. So this one wants a lot of variance between the max and the min. If you have more digits, you're more likely to have more of the variance. If you have one digit, it should always be like one minus one equals zero. To the power of three. So if this was a six minus three, it would be a three to the three is plus nine. Pretty cheap, but it's just a plus. Times third digit. If the input value has less than three digits, that was going to be my question. The input value's third digit will be considered a zero, and this is super expensive. This would be a four plus a two. Oh, is an eight. Okay, so this would be a good multiplier. Three to the max digit. Ooh. Oh, again, it's expensive. New symbol increases the input value by nine raised to the power of dice one minus one info is a dice that gets rolled each turn. Okay. At each dice roll, each dice will be equal to a random generated value between one and six. So this is nine to the zero through, which nine to the zero would be one up through five. Nine to the five would be a large number. 981, 400 something. Okay, yeah. 408. No, I'm thinking of that way wrong. It's way larger than that. 700 something, then 6,000 something, then 70,000 something. Okay, that's a large number. But it's expensive. All of these. I need to just get this, but I need to add cards. Wrap. I could add these two. I could unlock another slot that would be helpful. I removed too much, but I needed to. I could add these two. So we need 70,000. Okay. I think my goal is going to be 73,200. Ooh, this could do it. No, I hate the pluses. I hate the pluses. I hate the pluses. There it is. No, I hate the pluses. Okay, we have a chance. No, I hate the pluses. Okay, we can do this. I'm building around that 1777 so much. We're running out of cards. There it is. Okay. What have we got? Plus 42. No! God, the game hates me. Okay. Just you wait. Just you wait. Okay, this is it. Times five right away. We have a big number. Times three, let's go. 12,000. This is it. Bam. Times four. 46,000. Okay, so now we want... God, I want to find better numbers, but these are cheap. This, this. We'll just remove them later, probably. Now, I get an additional card. We re-roll this. 
What? Luck? To the power equals 4? What? Does not change the input value. For as long as this card stays face up on the table, forces every dice roll to the value of 4, and every black dice roll the opposite value of 1 equals 3. What? If multiple lucky cards are on the table, only the one that is rightmost card slot will be activated. Interesting. And it's 36,000, so you could buy it. This one wants a third digit. Equals 4 times 10. Transforms the input value. This one's so expensive. This one's so expensive. This one's pretty cheap. This costs 7 million. What is this? Starts the calculation of points for each turn from a value of 4 instead of a value of 0. Value becomes the input, so this is nice if you have a bunch of multipliers. Just because you're not starting with multiply zero. It's not that nice. I think we're going to get this 13,500 plus 9 minus the minimum digit to the power of 4. The more digits you have, the worse this is. I'm going to reroll. We're broke. Cherries for 590,000 starts the calculation of points for each turn from a value equal to 11 minus your current number of cards to the power of four. What? Sounds terrible. This costs over a million. I mean, it looks awesome. Does it? Max digit is pretty bad. Min digit. This is a plus. I could afford this one. I mean, I'd have to roll a few times. Plus 111 times the minimum digit. Minimum digit, on average, will be like a 4 or 5. Probably a 4.5. I don't know. Yeah, 4.5. Um, so 444. That's pretty good. That makes my deck quite a bit better. This one's cheapish. This one's weird, because it could wipe out earlier points if you, like, if you draw this late when you have the 777. All right. I get to draw one more while we still have that on there, and it was a stupid plus 16. Um, adding pluses just feels bad. I really... Oops. I really want... What? I want multipliers. This plus is okay. I will take this plus, I think. This one is weird. Max digit minus min digit to the length. What is... So like this one, the length is pretty good, but that's just a plus. So by the time you get to the plus, you want... Like adding it, if the length is already long, adding a number doesn't help at that point. That's when you want a big multiplier is when the length is long. If that makes sense, and it does to me. So we're going to draw again, and now we're getting way less value. So we draw that 777. But again, the 777 needs to be like in these three spots. There it is. And how much do I need for this one? Not that much. It's not important that I buy this with the 777 out. Or not that, this one. I do want to re-roll though. So this was a plus 512, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, they're all pluses. One more multiple. Okay, multiple's good. Cool. So now I want to buy this and then roll. Or remove a card. We can remove a card. Because I don't think I'm gonna hit the 7 million and 65 rolls. So we can remove one card, I believe. Gotta be that plus seven. 
plus seven just has no value. And yeah, zero, so there are zero left to remove. Reroll. Ones that I could potentially afford. This one, that's a really good plus. That's a really good plus. Um, oh, 400,000. I thought that was 40,000. My bad. I cannot probably afford that. Okay, plus coin increases the input value by coin where coin can be equal to 900 or zero. Flip a coin. Oh, okay. Heads and tails. I understand. I would take that. Does it flip every time you draw? Probably says that. At each coin flip. When does it say? Flipped each turn. Okay, cool. This one equals 919. Plumber. If the total points after the draw is a number that ends with four, the total points after the draw is multiplied by the total number of its digits. If the total points after the draw is a number that ends with four, total number multiplied by the number of its digits, this could be crazy. Like that feels like a late game thing. I need to get more of these unlocked, I think. More unlocked before I roll again. Ah, but I don't know if I can do that. Ooh, times nine plus, wait, I want this, 113. I'm not gonna be able to get it. That is what I want. That's really what I want. Wait, what am I doing? We have 12 out of 14. So I want this and this. I would take this too. They're all expensive. Draw a card. Draw a card. So 222. Minimum digit. All oh, right. And the more digits we get, zero. Zero again, 240. So now, how does this one work? Zero, minimum digit of zero. This card is not as good as I was thinking. Okay. So we do have a times two. No. It's painful. Okay, 1700, that's not good. I think we're in trouble. Okay, this is our chance. Times four, right away. No, plus 80. Times two, times three. 45,000. I really want this one. I could buy this. Zero. 42, the answer to life. The universe, okay, this is our chance. Times four is good. Times three, let's go. One more big one. Not the biggest, okay. We're at 71,000. 82 for this, 113 is the one that I wanna go for. No. Okay, 113. And we have 36 rolls left. I could have done 500. Which is really tempting to me. No. Not good. The thing that sucks is knowing that when this one's in this place, it's going to be a zero. I'm learning, kind of. It would be cool if these rolls were cheaper, I think. But maybe that would be too strong. It just depends so much what cards you get. But I might have had good things I could have taken advantage of that I just didn't see how. The removals seem important too. This could be it. No. All of the pluses, 113. Lame. Okay, I think we're gonna hit it probably, but like just barely. 777. Like, we'll hit the 113. But will we actually get to make use of it? I don't know. Removing a card would be helpful. 
and it has to draw after the 777 or after one of the other big numbers, but really that is the one. I can remove a card right now. We can remove. I like seeing all of the multiplier. Even the times two is still good. I think we're gonna remove the plus 16. It just has no real impact a lot of the time. That's a decently large number. We have six left. With six left, I feel like we just roll and look for something decent that's cheap. 62. I don't love it. I don't hate it. Reverse digits. Increase the input value by the value obtained by reversing its digits. Ah, this is kind of just like times two, but not really. A second digit to the power of six minus one. One through six to the power of, I still don't understand the dark dice. Oh, it's the inverse of whatever. Huh. That's weird because then you want to roll like a three or whatever. That is a cool concept. Handle. Too expensive. For each card slot, replace the highest digit of the points output with four. In the case of a tie, the rightmost lowest digit is transformed. I don't know how I would feel about that one. It's hard for me to conceptualize like the effect that they'll have on my current deck. Not that I can afford it anyways, but I like trying to think about it. I don't know what flag does. It says zero out of zero. Like one or more items in the shop to remember to buy them later. Oh, viable flagged items. Oh, okay. Got it. I can flag that. Remove the flag. 62. 62 is better than 25. It was expensive. Come over here. Burn the 25. If I had a multiplier instead, I would have taken that. Can't afford these. I need to reroll for 10,000. Ooh, big multiplier, but without the 777. 42,000 plus 37,000. We only have five rolls. Let me buy more rolls. Plus coin to the power of length. Coin flip is either a four or a zero. Plus coin to the minimum digit. Zero or three. The coin flip is interesting. Plus times eight times dark dice. This is one that I would like. I want more multipliers. Plus 98 is okay. Wait. With a probability of 1% for each card slot, replace all digits of the points output with seven. 1% chance and it rolls on each card slot, all the digits of the points output with seven. So it just turns everything to seven, seven, seven. Interesting. But it's a low chance of happening. This one, eh. The one that interests me is this one. Costs 100,000. And you would just replace probably 42. The other one, though, is this one. I'm going to buy that. Come in here. Place 42 now. It wasn't that expensive. I don't think I would replace any of the rest of them, but it could be this. Could be re-rolling to get something I can afford. We only have five rolls. This one isn't going to have time to have an effect. This is in the wrong order. All the zeros. It's just going to be zeros. 777, and we know this is already over here, which sucks. They're all pluses. Last roll. 24,000. That's it? So we had... What happened right here? We had one really good turn. 
Okay, this is a little bit hard to read. Score, 26,000, that's my final score. Cumulative points, I think that's the one that I would care about, it, one of these two. You could just go for final score though, but then I wouldn't have been buying stuff at the end. I think 360,000, God, I would have hoped to get at least a million. Or a best turn of 46,000 are the two that I would find interesting. Right now, there's no leaderboards, but they plan to do it. We can wish list the game. I wonder if that pulls it up on Steam. It does. Add it to your wish list. Bam. Item added to your wish list. F11, get out of here. We can. No thanks. Go home. Card draw. So, if we look, collection. Okay, this isn't here yet. Card collection is coming soon. If we hit play though, ooh, there's also achievements coming soon. So right now, the only game mode in is relaxing, which is cool. You click relaxing, you can do 250, 500, 1000. Endless isn't here yet, speedrun isn't here yet. Reach a score of 100,000 million billion, one trillion in as few turns as possible. This sounds cool. Strategic is not here yet. Roguelike, not here yet. Idle, not here yet. Adventure, deck builder, and challenge it. This sounds so promising to me. I like this a lot. And yeah, the dev emailed me and it just sounds like a small indie dev making a cool game. I want more color. I like these colors but I also like the minimalist. So yeah, give me feedback on this game and my YouTube channel. I don't know how to get to it, right here. My YouTube channel, if you click up here, there's a Discord link. You could join the Discord and then you could share screenshots or just tell me the score that you got. And then that would make me wanna play even more because I like competing with people. We can see the high scores. I might do another video trying with 500 or 1000 just to see what I can get. But yeah, I like this game. I'm curious what you guys think of it. For now, that is going to do it for this episode. For this video, yeah. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.